providing effective feedback improves clinical skills for all learners, not just those who are struggling. This next lady is here to review her abnormal liver function tests. Why don't you take a look at her and uh, I can give you some feedback about uh, what I see. Um, anything you'd particularly like feedback on? Well, uh, I'm not really confident about my abdominal exam. So maybe you can observe that and uh, let me know what you have to say about it. Sure, sounds good. Hi there. Hi. This is Chris, he's a medical student Hi. working with me. Yes, he's yes, going yes. to be checking you over. I'm just going to stay here and uh, just make sure everything's going smoothly. Okay, so I'm just going to examine you now. Uh, why don't you lie down? Okay, I'm going to take a peek at your face. And I'm also going to look at the whites of your eyes. And take a peek at your hands and your fingernails. Okay, and um, would you mind lifting up your gown for me? And I'll take a look at your abdomen as well. Okay, sounds normal. And I'm just going to have a feel and let me know if you feel any pain. Can you take a deep breath in for me, please? Okay, and out. And another deep breath in for me. And out. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we'll just give you a few minutes to get changed and Dr. Hindle and I will be back. So, how do you think it went? Is there anything you were pretty happy about? Well, um, I remember to check for jaundice and some of the extra abdominal signs of liver disease, so um, I was happy I didn't forget that. Yeah, those were particularly good, good pieces of the examination. I think it's really important to do that. Anything that uh, didn't go so well? Well, uh, when I was feeling for her liver, I really wasn't confident if it was enlarged. I didn't get a good sense that I really knew the size. Right. So it, it's sometimes difficult when you're just palpating. Um, was there any other technique you could have used that might have made it easier? You listened, you palpated. Percussion. Percussion, right. So if you want to be sure whether the liver's enlarged or not, then percussion's really going to help you. Right. There was one other thing that I noticed that when you were listening, when you were feeling her, her abdomen, she was still sitting up a little bit, and it's much easier if you lay her yeah. flat. So next time when you, when you go along, then I think it's really important to remember to percuss the abdomen, but make sure about your patient positioning. Like flat, like flat. So let's, uh, let's take a look at her, her results, and uh, then we can figure out what we're going to do with her and uh, go back in and talk to her. Okay? All right, sounds good.